options for sign in sheets and gathering data. There are several options available. Let's start with Microsoft Forms and we'll use our Office 365 account. We'll go to portal.office.com. You'll log in with your work email and your password if requested. If you don't see Microsoft Forms listed, you can tap Explore All Your Apps, find Forms, and tap on it. Click New Form. You can give it a name. And then you can choose what type of questions you'd like to ask on the sign-in sheet. Let's say that the first question might be Banner ID, and that could be a short answer. We don't need a paragraph, it would just be an ID. Then the next question might be status. That could be a choice. So we might have teacher, student, staff. And let's add one more question, which could also be a choice. Item use. Let's say lounge. And when done, we can click share. And let's say anyone with link can respond. And we'll copy the link. And now wherever, use the computer where you want people to sign in. Just open up a blank web page and paste the link and this will be the sign in that people will see. People can enter their information and they can click submit when done. And then you could click submit another response or the person that comes along next can click submit another response and enter their information. And I'm going to enter a few here. So we've entered some data into the form. And how would we find our form to look at the data? I went back to portal.office.com. And this time, since I've recently used forms, it shows up on my main menu. If it didn't, once again, you could explore all apps. I'm going to tap forms. And here's the sign-in sheet. Notice it says eight responses. And I can click responses. And it gives a summary. As you can see, it makes charts and everything. But you could also open in Excel here at the top right. It downloads an offline Excel spreadsheet. Let's tap on that to open it. And here is the data. I'm going to tap Enable Editing. And notice what it did here. It automatically entered the date and time, even though we didn't see that on the form. It also added a block for email and name. That's if folks had signed in with their information to it to Office, we would have seen this information. But we didn't ask for this information and we didn't have people sign in to office to use the form. But here's the information that people entered, their banner ID, some people skipped the status here, and the item used. Now this opens up in a table that we can use a filter on. Let's say that we only want to see the items used or we want to see just the lounge used. We could click the drop down, uncheck select all, choose lounge and just see the lounge used and what days and times it was used. And we can also use the filtering on the start and completion time, but you can see how you could break it down by times, month, year, and day. And you could also use a pivot table to analyze this data. We put start times here and count of start times. And we could see the 10 a.m. hour happened eight times. And then we can see the minutes and how they happened. And then you could break down the minutes. And you can see how often they happen. Probably seconds there. So that's one way to use this with Microsoft Forms. But also within your Microsoft portal, you can make an Excel form. And this will save your data to an online spreadsheet. Let's close this. And this time, let's open Excel. We'll go to a new blank workbook. We'll tap the Insert tab, Forms, New Form. And then we will build this in much the same way that we will build the Microsoft Forms, but I'll show you the difference here in a minute. Let's just add a couple of test questions. So I've entered some responses. And we're back to the Excel form. Notice it automatically goes to the form. I haven't named the form, so it automatically named it Book 2. But notice how it stays online, but you still get the same data. You get the start time, and you get the information that the customer entered. So now with this information, you could do your calculations online. You could share this with coworkers online. Or you could open this into offline Excel if you wanted to. File. Save as, 
and we can click download a copy. Another option is Google Forms and you need a Google account for this. I just went to forms.google.com. It shows forms I've made before and it has some template forms already made for you or you can start your own blank form. Let's just choose event registration as an example of one that's already made for us. Notice it already has some data made up for us. And notice this decoration here. You could also decorate your Microsoft Forms. You would just go to themes. And there were themes in Microsoft Forms and there are also themes in Google Forms if I wanted to change this thing. So just like using the Excel form in Microsoft, you could enter information, you can see responses, and once responses are there, you can open up the responses in a spreadsheet. It would be a Google Sheet, and a lot of the processes in Google Sheets are the same as MS Excel. And also, you could save Google Sheets as an Excel document if you like. You can just download it to Excel. So those are just some quick examples on using Google Forms, Microsoft Forms, and Microsoft Excel Forms as a sign-in sheet. For more information, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash NLC Infotech. And we have lots of different software training there. And our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash NLC IT help desk.